New signs of optimism in the economy. 63% of American voters are confident in the stock market. This is according to a new Fox News poll. Also, you have to buy into polls in order to believe this, but there you go. The survey was conducted February 10th to the 13th following the wild swings in the market. And then you have this. The Goldman Sachs CEO is giving President Trump credit for economic growth. Lloyd Blankfein saying, quote, if the president didn't win and Hillary Clinton won, I bet you the economy is higher today than it would otherwise would be. Hmm. Lonnie, what, what do you make of this? Uh, Lloyd Blankfein sort of s stating the obvious. Um, he he, he uh, supported the other candidate very openly. Um, is he admitting the truth? Is he trying to curry favor? What, what do you make of it? Well, I, I think, Melissa, he's stating a truism, which is there are two elements to this uh, situation we're seeing now. One is there's actually been policy that's been passed. The Trump administration led on the tax reform legislation, as we've talked about. That's been a big factor. But the other part of this is really about generating optimism in the economy from the perspective of the bully pulpit. And that's something President Trump has done uh, yeah. pretty well, I think. And I think Blankfein is just saying, look, I think Trump would have done it, is doing it better than his opponent would have done it, better than Hillary Clinton would have done it. Which is, I don't think anybody doubts that that's the case. Well, I mean, it's ironic <laughs> because Goldman Sachs certainly downed it ahead of time, yeah. Heather. I mean, they were among right. the group peddling the garbage that, you know, the stock market was going to crash and the economy was going to implode and planets were going to collide yeah, who knew? if Trump look. won. So, yeah, go ahead. Your take. Yeah, look at that. I mean, other Wall Street uh, titans like J.P. Morgan's Jamie Dimon has raved about tax reform and now Lloyd Blinkfein is raving about the economy. And they have not been uh, backers of President Trump really outwardly. Uh, no. And it doesn't mean that they are now, but at least they are saying that they're supportive of the economic economic agenda coming out of the White House right now, and that's what matters, regardless yeah. of whether or not you voted for Trump. It seems like most Americans, again, based on this poll, uh, are very, put the economy in high standards right now. Well put. Heather Lonhee, thanks.